let me start with a nice question. All right. um, how's your child doing? He's great, man. He's getting big, uh, starting to walk. He actually called me yesterday, which was a trip. He was like, dad, dad. I'm like, you know, so it's been, you know, I'm excited to see him. We're going to be home like a few days before Christmas, so. How old is he now? He's one. Just okay. to, just turned, he's almost like 17 months old. I'm it's getting it, close to two. This is hard now for you yes. being on the road. <clears throat> Definitely. We've been... Um, We've been basically out since January, so it's been um, it's been very rough on on me, you know, just because I, you know, missing a lot of his life right now. But uh, we're home for two to three weeks at a time, so you know, there's like catching up stage, and you know. But he, then you don't have to work. Yeah, and then you know it's um, a couple. Of, we have about a month and a half off after we get home from this, so I'm excited to spend some quality time at home, definitely. Okay, good. <laughs> so. Um, well, what did the breakup between the first and the second album uh, tell you about the Agony scene? Uh, well, we, it was just, you know, a situation of uh, bad management, bad tours, and, you know, just everybody kind of at each other's throats. So, you know, it was a really welcomed break, I'll, I'll say that. You know, it definitely got us, you know, when we reformed after that, it definitely got us... Uh, a lot more focused and a lot more, you know, sure of what we wanted to do as opposed to doing what, you know, other people wanted us to do, so. What did you miss then, during do, the break? Do, what did I miss? Yeah, miss from the band. What did uh, you miss? Just kind of, like, it's, unless you're there, it's hard to explain. It's like, you know, you feel so close to these people that you're around, like, I'm around six other people all the time. And it's like, you know, you just kind of feel that, uh, camaraderie sort of it's like you know you know who your friends are and they're always there so just being away from that was definitely you know definitely tough and you know I was very happy to get it back very happy to you know and performing and touring is just you know it's I'm really passionate about it so not having that in my life for about a year was kind of tough and what what job did you do then uh, I managed a sandwich shop <laughs> actually <laughs> okay. I, I made I made uh, Quizno sandwiches for like and where in uh Tulsa. In Tulsa, yeah. yeah. Um, what's, what's the name of the show? Uh, Quiznos. Quiznos. I don't know if you guys have those over here. No. But it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good right now. But um, Yeah, I did that for a while. I uh, painted houses. Just all kinds of different stuff. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. I'm like That's okay. dozing. Um, well, what is it like uh, growing up in uh, Tulsa? I actually grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, oh, which sorry. is uh, no worries. Um, it's it's definitely. I mean, Tulsa is definitely like a smaller a smaller place. You know, it's kind of like it's like it's like anywhere else. I mean, aside from like New York, L.A., uh, like big bigger cities, like everything else is pretty much the same. So okay. it's like you know, you have your malls, your movie theaters, your restaurants. Uh, you know, it's where I'm raising my kid. So you know, it's it's home. I don't. I can't complain. I like living there. You know, it's, you know, I get to see, you know, I get to see all the places that I'm, that I'm missing out on as far as not living in New York or not living in L.A., so, and it's not really, not really too worried about it, you know, I don't think I'm missing too much. Okay, so. good, good feeling to have. Yeah.